Hey guys, welcome back to Mega Man X4. In this episode, we're gonna take on the owl and the peacock. We are saving the birds for last. So here we go. I wonder if the uh, Nova Strike sets so it's always strong against every enemy. I'm sure. Or maybe that's just how much damage it does, and if it was set as a weakness as well, it would do more. I wonder what this guy eats. Does he eat, like, mechanical worms? Maybe they don't eat anything because they're robots. True. Never thought of it like that. So we got a new weapon last time. Ethan's that's gonna web. show it. So does this. Shoots directly up. And then it's like, kind of like a supernova type thing flying in the air. Yeah, like a, almost like a flame punch. It's like Zero's Plane Punch that he had, kind of. Yeah, but Zero's was way cooler. Oh, absolutely. Alright, so here we go. Hopefully Ethan can make it to a checkpoint here. He only has one life to live. Don't we all? And there's the flying mech suit. It actually looks really cool with our ultimate armor. We like blend in with it, yeah. I just took that straight to the face. Oh yeah. Wow, I don't know how your head is still there. It'd be funny if the beam went away and you just looked like the Terminator. That would be really funny, actually. Because I'm sure that's all Mega Man looks like underneath there. I think this mech is actually holding you back. I almost feel like that too, but at least it gives me extra health. Oh, the mech has a charge. Nope. It's not even as good as this normal attack, it seems. Yeah, you can't even move when you're charging in the team. I'm gonna jump out right here. Okay. I think there's just like a one-up. Nope, it's just health. That'll be good. Fill you up. You gonna go on without the mech? Might nope. as well keep it. It's free health. It might get you killed. It's not really that strong. More or less used for utility so that you can fly. Here's where I'm going to jump out of it, though. The little guy's just putting in work on you. We actually took a death there because we missed the heart piece. So Ethan's just filling up his E-tank here. And then we are moving forth. Hopefully we can get this heart piece here right away this time. This time we know where it is, and we are ready for it. There you go, real nice. Simple enough. That's pretty cool that those are actually homing lasers. Or, uh, missiles, not lasers. Yeah, those are always great weapons in video games. If you ever play Contra 3, or just any Contra, Heat Seeker or homing is the best. I love Contra, I wish Nintendo would make another Contra. Nicely done, bro, nicely done. I feel like if we made another Contra, though, it might not be as good as the originals. Well, if they stick to the side-scroll action, it would be really good. Yeah, it would. Instead of trying to, like, make it something new, like an FPS or something like that. Oh, yeah, Contra FPS would just be bad. It's bad enough they already made a Metroid one, but people do like the Metroid Prime series. I just like the original the best. Wait, Metroid Prime is an FPS? Yeah. I played the first two. They're pretty good. I played one of them on the Wii where it was like motion control the whole time. I actually had a fun time with it when motion controls were new. Now I don't want to play anything with motion controls. If they make them better, they might be fun. I just don't want to have to like work out while I play video games. Yeah. Unless you're actually playing a video game made to work out. True. You're like Wii Fit. Alright, I'm gonna do this part real quick for Ethan. A lot of spiky spikes. He's allergic to spikes. Highly. And I'm just gonna use the normal jump dash. I think it'll be a little bit easier for this part. There we go. And boss battle time. Actually, this is a mini boss, isn't it? Shouldn't be too bad. Oh, it's just the wall. Oh yeah. This eye is getting wrecked. These bosses always reminded me of Gradius 3. Like, every boss in Gradius 3 is similar to a wall. Yes, some of them move, like spaceships, because they are, but they all come from the right side, and then they all kind of stay in the same spot. 
I really love Gradius 3. Really, really good game, but has a super hard level out of nowhere that if you die at, you're pretty much screwed because you don't have enough speed ups afterwards. Boy, that's the one we played together. Yeah. Maybe we could replay that sometime and beat it. That'd be fun. It's really hard to beat. We would probably have to use it on emulator instead of uh, the Super Nintendo. I actually own the game on the Super Nintendo, but like I said, there's like one level, you get one chance to do it, and if you don't do it, then you're just pretty much screwed. So here we have X versus Storm Owl. How dare you destroy my unit? <laughs> he said unit. You'll pay for this with your life. I think I'm going to destroy his unit. Do it. Destroy his unit. Nice. He doesn't take as much damage from that. Well, takes enough. Yeah, he doesn't take as much from that. I was just wondering because it said it was effect against all air uh, flying units, so I thought that might be his weakness. Yeah, good check. This boss is kind of annoying because he flies off screen a lot. One more hit should do it. I wonder if he's gonna vomit up the pellets when he gets killed here. There you go. Nicely done. And the owl is dead. The owl has fallen. I repeat, the owl has fallen. Move in. Move in. The owl is out of the nest. I kind of feel bad. The owl was always super smart. He actually was the one to figure out how many licks it took to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop. I think someone actually did that and it was something like 1,390. <laughs> That'd be funny to do. Yeah, like someone actually just sat there and did it. I could see like trying to do it and then accidentally like biting it halfway through because you kind of just are like it's into habit. it. Yeah, it's habit. Ugh. Ooh, fires a vacuum with cyclones left and right. Most effective when surrounded by the enemies. And again, skyborne enemies. That's pretty cool. I get two cyclones, like, on each side of me. Yeah, that's nice. We're gonna check it out right away. And then we are going to fight my favorite enemy in this game, the Peacock. You don't like Sigma more? No, I like to float like a butterfly and sting like a peacock. Pretty sure that's how the saying goes. Man, don't you just hate it when you get stunned by a peacock? It's the worst, but beautiful at the same time. Alright, so here we go. To cyberspace! This is a speedrun level, so... Ethan, you might just want to use your normal dash if you have more control. Wait, are you going to show us uh, the new ability? Oh, that's not as cool as I thought it was going to be. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Although not really useful, because usually the enemies are just in front of you. You can use the, the flame one, maybe it'll destroy those. Oh yeah, maybe that's the way to do it, because they don't stop you. So this first run is just a test, and then the second one will give you a heart piece, and the third one will give you the E-Tank. We really want the third one. We can go without the heart piece. We don't really need heart pieces because of this armor. Yeah, I mean, heart pieces are nice. Oh, you got it? Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. It's interesting how it tells you to uh, hurry up when you're low on time, too. That's nice to know. That's how you know you lost. Yeah. Well, no, it shows, like, downward arrows. When it says, hurry up, you haven't lost yet. You're about to do so. That was a much better path. Yep. Oh, we got the E-Tank there. So that was for the second speedrun. We went back and did it. We weren't sure. So we probably didn't say anything during that, but... You guys saw it, so now we can just move on and not worry about getting a fast time on this one. We can kind of relax. Still nice to get a fast time because I'm not sure what we get. We probably get something. Not anything special, though. You might get an armor piece, actually. That no. could be. Not like we need it. Yeah, I don't even think we can get it. This part's a little bit harder as X, because we don't have a double jump. But nothing X can't handle.
Okay, we're going for the A, it looks like. If we can even get that. Can you get worse than an A? Yeah, I've seen less. When I was just messing around before. Okay, so... This is the final part of the stage. That's kind of cool, the numbers like flash in the background and all the monitors. Yeah. This is my least favorite stage, I will say. Really? It's kind of boring. Yeah, I guess it is boring. It's, it's got cool mechanics to it. It does have that, but... Once you do it a couple times, it's kind of like, yeah, gotta do it again. Gotta go fast. I don't always want to be like Sanic. Sometimes I just want to be like Mega Man. There's a lot of balls that hit you in the face. Yeah, that's never fun. I don't like to smack the balls. Do you? No, I do not. <laughs> I'm not sure about you, but I personally don't like getting smacked by balls. Whatever boats your float, though. Yep. Whatever floats your goat. Alright, so here we go. Mega Man versus Cyber Peacock. His potential is limitless. Not possible. Who are you? Why are you doing this to me? I was ordered to test your abilities. It's quite simple. What? Prepare yourself. All right, here we go. Cyber Peacock. Nicely done, Ethan. Yeah, all you gotta do is dash back and forth here. Let this appear in your path. This peacock move down there takes off a lot of health if you get hit by it. Nicely done. Thanks. I think I got an S rank on speed for that part. Give him the S. Give him the S. The eye just watching me in the background doesn't know what to do. It's looking down in shame. Yeah, it's like HAL 9000. Ooh, that's a heat seeker, I bet. That's pretty cool. Move the cursor to lock onto enemies. Oh, so it's like slow, though. Attacks the enemies with the aiming laser. It would be kind of cool if it just added like a, like a, just like the most useless thing ever, like just added a laser sight to your blaster. Yeah. Or a like, scope. Yeah, just a scope. You can't actually look down and it's just a visual thing. Alright, so now we're going to get a cutscene, and then after that we're going to find some heart pieces, I think. Are we going to do that, Ethan? Sure. Okay. I think we only need to get two more. The Repla Force has begun assembling! Where are they? The spaceport! They plan to take off into space! Hurry! We have to stop the Colonel. Are you telling Double to hurry and help us? Yeah, he's is not that, gonna help. Is that a joke? Alright, so now we're gonna find the heart pieces. Next time we're gonna go to the spaceport. We didn't get a cutscene. Zero had a lot more cutscenes. Yeah. Maybe that's your reward for playing as a harder character. Could very well be. We're gonna cut forward here. Alright, here's the first heart piece. You gotta use the flame punch. Also, after we're done getting this heart piece, Ethan is gonna show you the new ability. Oh, that's pretty cool. So lock on to someone. I think you're locked on. There you go. Interesting. Now ch use a charge shot with it. I want to aim on to someone. Probably. Oh, that's pretty cool. Interesting. There it is, the heart piece. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and we will see you guys all next time with more Mega Man.